Hey guys, this is Colton Tackett on Sonic Boom Fan 101 here. Welcome back to my walkthrough of the Dell Dimension 4600. Um, this is part 19, and before I turn on this computer, the reason why I have this Radio Shack portable cassette recorder, a recorded audio cassette, this video camera that I could connect to the computer, and all this, and this blue thing for the cable. Well, you'll find out in just a minute. But for now, it's time to turn on the computer so that way we can get this over with. Let's turn on the speakers and turn this on. And yeah, um, I'm a little too close to the treadmill. Let me just try to sit down on the treadmill for a minute. Uh, maybe there might be a way for me to like get this ready. So, um... <clears throat> Okay, so, yeah, um, <clears throat> before I'm going to be recording something here, um, I'm going to have to, like, uh, <clears throat> for example, I'm going to have to, like, try to, well, you know, I'm going to need to, like, do my Microsoft money stuff before I begin. So, we're going to log into my account, put my tablet down, type in the password, and wait for it. To log me on. Hopefully it's not turned up so loud. Hopefully it isn't so. And I don't know if it's turned up so loud or not. But uh hopefully I'm gonna be like trying to do something about the cassette recorder so I can like connect it to the to the computer. You know, this one right here. I'll be doing that later. And like I said, um Sonic SATM came on this morning. Oh. The, the Windows XP startup sound interrupted me for no reason. But anyway, as I was saying, um, as you may know, uh, Sonic SATM came on this morning. And um, the episodes that were on today, they were Game Guy and Sonic and the Secret Scrolls. They were really good episodes. It was great when I had to watch them. I was so impressed. Um, wouldn't it be great to watch those episodes? Anyway, it's going to take time for me to log on, so I'm going to have to pause the recording. So I could, like, um, I could, like, do on something with that Microsoft Money Tutorial. Backing up files, you know, that kind of thing. But anyway, viewers, uh, yeah. This cassette player, this cassette... This blue USB cord <clears throat> and this camera that has the audacity thing on the SD card I'm using right now will be right back <clears throat> excuse me be right back okay viewers I'm back I think the the start button yeah the, the task bar and the icons are coming up now but anyway um <clears throat> now about what this portable cassette recorder could do it has like six different buttons uh, they do it the way the portable cassette recorders do. They have the record button, the play button. It has the rewind button, it has the fast forward button, it has a stop button, and it has the eject. Oh, wait, that, that's his pause. It has, it has a pause button. So, yeah, I'll be dealing with that soon. When I try to do something about this cassette, <clears throat> hopefully we'll be able to do something about this. So we're gonna try to test how like we could like try to get this this cassette recorder to get like connected to the computer. Let's just see if we could try to do this. It's gonna be hard, but wait, wait, I can't read it. Wait. I'm gonna try to try to tilt this. Okay. Um. I think the one right there—that's the microphone. So I'm gonna have to like try to. Uh, I'm gonna pause this for a minute because I have to try to test to see if I could try to get this connected to the computer. I'll be right back. Okay, I got the thing connected to the desktop computer. It's going very well today. But I hope it eventually does something about it. So. Now we're going to do something about the Microsoft Money Tutorial for now because 
wait a minute. <coughs> I have no idea if we could like use that. Well, <coughs> while we're at it, I think we're gonna go into the my computer thing to go into the Microsoft my tutorial. And um, I'm also gonna need to like pause the recording also because um, might need to connect this this one right here and I'm gonna try to like try to connect this to the computer I'm gonna try it All right. okay I think I connected it but I don't hear any noise um yours I'll be right back. I don't know if like if a, if those things are like like connected or something cuz looking at it right here and it just says uh MCDC I mean MSDC I meant sorry. Oh, <laughs> that scared me. Fears, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I had to get things ready for this next tutorial on Microsoft My 2004. So this one, I think, this is the backing up file tutorial. So let's just start this up. Wait, did I just click on it or not? I don't know. Let's just wait for it and see if it did come up. General, wait. That, 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 all these come up like this. I don't know what's going on. But let's see. Oh, that's right. Work of backup files. Here we go. Look, I'm trying to exit from Microsoft Money, and it's asking if I want to make a backup. Is this the same thing as saving our file? No. Our money file is actually saved automatically whenever we enter a transaction. And whenever we close money, it automatically makes a backup copy of our file on our hard disk. But every couple of weeks, or however often we want, money will ask if we'd like to make a backup copy of our file on a floppy disk. That makes sense. So if something happens to one file, like it gets lost or corrupted for some reason, we have another file to fall back on. And if something happens to our computer's hard disk, we have a copy of our file on a floppy disk. Well, you and I both know it's always a good policy to have two or three copies of anything important. Right. Especially where our financial records are concerned. Does it have to be saved on a floppy disk? Could we save it to another disk drive? We can save it anywhere we want. We just go to the Tools menu, <coughs> click <coughs> Options. Let me guess. The backup tab. You got it. Yep. So it always saves a backup on our hard disk automatically. And however often we specify, it'll save another backup somewhere else. Like on our removable disk drive. But if our removable disk drive doesn't show up here for some reason, we can always just copy the backup file we made on our hard drive to the removable disk drive later. And this is where we can tell money to compress our file, so it doesn't take up too much room. That's especially important if we decide to keep our backup files on a floppy disk. Mm. We click OK, and our file okay. backup options are set the way we want. Yep. So this backup file, is it just like any other money file? No, it's different. It's a compressed backup file. If you want to open it, money needs to decompress it to its normal size, and then convert it to a regular money file. So suppose, for whatever reason, we need to use our backup file. What would we do? First, we find the backup. If we're using a backup stored on our hard disk, we click Restore Backup on the File menu. Okay, and then click Restore from a Backup File. And click Next. This is easy. It shows us where our backup file is, and the last time it was changed. We can look at all the information to make sure it's the right file. Here are the file names, the date, and the size. And if we want a different backup file, like the one from our floppy disk, I bet we click Open a Different Backup File. Right. Money searches our computer for any other backup files. How does money recognize a backup file? By the file name extension. A regular money file has three letters after its name, MNY. The file name extension for a money backup file is MBF. So when money MBF. finds all our backup files, we just pick the one we want. And then click Restore. We confirm the location where we want the file to go, as well as the file name we want it to have. This file name needs to be unique, so we don't accidentally overwrite another backup or yeah. overwrite the money file itself. True. Money converts the backup to a regular file. 
So it's changing the MBF file to an MNY file. And it opens it up for us. We can check to make sure the file has the information we need. If it doesn't, we can restore a different backup. Here's another question. Since we just bought a new computer, we now have two. One for you and one for me. But our money file is on the old computer. What if we decide we want to move it to the new one? We can just save the backup file on a floppy disk. We can then copy from the disk onto the new computer. But a floppy disk only holds 1.44 megabytes. What if the file is bigger than that? Our money file grows larger as we add more and more transactions. Couldn't it become as big as 6 megabytes or more? We don't have to worry about it. Money knows to break up the file to fit onto multiple floppy disks. Whoa. Oh, then when we restore the file on our new computer, it puts the file back together. That's cool. But we need to be sure to keep our copies straight so we don't mix up our actual money file. It's easy to manage our money files when we need to. I agree. And with backup files, we can be sure that our information and money is safe and secure. That was a pretty long tutorial there. But anyway, um, if you viewers are wondering why this Audacity folder is here, it's because I had to copy some of the things from Audacity to the, to the SD card on my video camera. So anyway, it's a file I'm supposed to upload, like, I, oh wait, I forgot, oh wait. I also forgot to tell you viewers, um, the, the last tutorial for the next part will be Bank Online with Money. And that's a pretty shorter one. But anyway, we're going to close that, and we're going to go into Audacity and see what we do. Hopefully it works for some reason, I hope. So, wait. Audacity Project .aup files are not currently associated with Audacity. Associate them so they open on double click. I'm not really sure if it, oh, it's opening, good. Now we have that thing right here, and this is all we have. See that? Audacity is on the computer now. So, um, <clears throat> let's see if we... Do we, like, use the... Uh... I don't know, the sound mapper thing? I don't really know. Viewers, I'll, ha I'll be right back. I don't know what's going on. Okay, viewers, I, I'm back. I had to find... I had to use my 3DS... And I had to look up a video about how to, like, how to, like, record cassettes to MP3. For example, you're going to need to, like, uh, you need to plug in your, your thing to the earphone part and then put it in the blue part of the computer. <clears throat> That's where the line in is. So, yeah, now I know how to do it. So, we're going to put this cassette in and I'm going to record it to MP3. I played side one already, but I'm gonna record that after I record side two. So, anyway, all right. So, this is th that cas this cassette has some recorded stuff on it. So I'm gonna open this up, put this tape in. We're gonna try to put it in right here. Wait, how am I supposed to do this if I, I forgot, I think I should just put it in like this, oh. sorry about that, anyway, alright, I put it in, now I'm just gonna like try to, alright, it's right here, so, if it, this is side two, so, Doc Looney's Remedy, How Soon Is Now, Big Stinky Feet, Duck Songs 1, 2, and 3, Wiggle Jiggle, and Dumb Ways to Die Failure. Oh, it's Dumb Ways to Fail. So, this is it right here. See it? <clears throat> so I'm going to, like, try to click record. I'm going to... So I'm going to click... I'm going to click record. And then I'll click play on the tape. Let's hear how it sounds. Plays well. Sounds really well. I love how it sounds there. It's 
So, yeah. That's how you do it. Anyway, oh, I'm going to have to end this video now because I I don't want to get copyrighted for this. So, I'm, gonna leave your, uh, I'm not going to use a shutdown. I'm, gonna sh I'm not shutting down this computer at this part because I'm trying to record this. So, that's it. Thanks for watching, viewers. This is Colton Packett on Sonic Boom Fan 101 signing off. Bye.